Hey, everybody. How is everyone doing? Awesome. I give people time to hop on. I see, wow, 20 people. Did this help, like having that set time? Cool. Okay. Boop, boop. Okay, let's get started. I don't want to waste your time. And um, all right, so we're talking today about adding to your network. And specifically, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Facebook mainly because that's my bread and butter. And um, I feel like I've been able to grow a really great cold market through Facebook. <clears throat> so you're probably asking, well, you know, I have my tracker and I'm supposed to add three to five people every single day. Like, where am I finding these people? I don't know what to do. And so I'm going to answer that for you. So the, the first thing that you need to do is if you haven't um, <clears throat> already, make sure that your profile is public or at least your posts that are about Beachbody are public. Because when you start friend requesting people, they're going to come check out your profile to see who you are and to see if you're, yes, yeah, so like a tracker that we talked about in the, um, the last, in the last group, we talked about tracking your business. Um, so when you start friend requesting people, you want to make sure that you track them. Okay. We're going to talk about that in this group too. But the first thing I want to tell you to do is to start friend requesting friends of friends. So, you know, when you go on Facebook and they pop up, it pops up like people you may know, and you might have mutual friends in common with them. Check to make sure that they're not a beach body coach. Check to make sure that they're somebody that kind of fits that your target market. And then send a friend request. And after you send that friend request, you're going to want to send them a message. Just something small, maybe make a little joke about friend requesting them and need um, I'll give you some examples after this video. I'll post them in the comments below and I will share what I send. But maybe it's just like a, hey, Susan, I saw that you are friends with um, Sally and so am I. I'm just looking for some more mom friends. You know, it's kind of lonely um, staying at home with my kids. What, something like that. Um, something relating to their profile. Maybe you say, see something on their profile that they like and you say, hey, I just, you know, you showed up in my timeline. I love that that picture of your dog. Um, that your dog is so cute. What kind of dog is it? It's just the little thing. I sent you a friend request. Hope that's not too weird. Um, so make sure that you're sending those friend requests and you're sending a message with them because you're more likely to get accepted back if you send them a little note and kind of let them know your agenda. You're not, you know, just, you're not just randomly friend requesting them. You have, you know, want to be their friend or you want to build that relationship. <clears throat> so make sure you're doing that. And also when you start sending friend requests, I want you to keep track of who you're sending friend requests to. And we're going to talk about that later, tracking your, your network. Um, but make sure you write them down because after about, I usually give it like four to five days. And if they do not accept my friend request back, I will cancel that friend request. That way I don't have too many outgoing friend requests and like kind of raises a red flag on Facebook. Um, so make sure you do that. Another great way to find people to add to your network is if you have a spouse or a significant other that you didn't know earlier in your life. So they have all these friends maybe that you didn't know before they met you. So for example, my husband and I, we didn't go to high school together and we didn't go to college together. We met after college in our 20s. And so I immediately went to his friends list and I scrolled through all of the, and I looked at all of the people that I thought would be in my target market and I sent them a friend request. And I just, you know, said that I was Ben's wife and I saw that they went to high school together and, and I, that was where I was making that, that connection. I've had a lot of them, you know, pop up and message me and say, hey, I saw your invite for your group. I'm interested. And those are people who, I would not have had in my network unless they were connected to my husband. So if you haven't gone through your significant other's friend list, then I would suggest that you do that today and start adding those friends. I would try not to add more than like 10 friend requests at a time um, and then make sure that you're going back and taking those friend requests. You don't want to be put in Facebook jail. Another great way to add people to your network is joining groups. There are so many groups on Facebook that you can join. So 
think outside the box. Think about what you like other than health and fitness, other than beach body. So a great example I like to use is maybe you're really into a certain kind of dog, like a certain breed of dog. So if you're really into this certain breed of dog, you go and find groups that are related to that breed of dog. Or maybe you're really into dog training. So you would find dog training groups or maybe, um, you know, something along those lines. So what you do is you want to make sure that you are adding value in those groups. It's not about going in those groups and spamming them with your invites. It's about going into those groups every single day, commenting on people's posts, sharing on those posts. So maybe if you're, if you, you know, have a certain breed of dog, you're in there saying like, Oh, look at my dog did today. Look at this cute picture of my dog. Um, and then, then when you go to make a friend request to somebody in there, they recognize you and they realize, Oh, there's Nikki. She, you know, I've seen her talk about, this in this group. So it's not that weird that she's sending me a friend request and I will accept that friend request. So think outside the box. Maybe you like quilting and so you join quilting groups. I will say that a lot of mom groups already have, um, you know, beach body coaches in them. So those are kind of not the best I, I find, but maybe you like skateboarding or maybe you like, I don't know, archery, <laughs> whatever it is, find those groups and start building relationships within those groups. Okay, the next way that you can add to your network is hashtags, so that's more of Instagram, right? So if you find hashtags, and again, with hashtags, you have to think outside the box. It cannot be, you know, anything really fitness related. There's already not only Beachbody coaches, but there's, you know, It Works people and Herbalife and all those people. So you really have to think outside the box and building those relationships with people who have the, things that you're interested in that are in your niche. <clears throat> if you want to keep track of people, Lisa, I would, um, you can use like a Google document. You can use Teamsy. There's many ways that you can track people. And I think Laura is going to be covering that later in the group. Um, but, but just make sure that you like maybe have some kind of system set up so that you can go back and you, you're reminded of who your friend requested, maybe keep track of their Facebook profile URL, and then you can go back and you can cancel that friend request, you know, if you need to. Uh, uh, another great way to add people to your network is through Facebook ads. I know that's not free, but uh, this is your business. You have to be willing to invest in your business, even if it's just a little bit of amount, okay? So when I was a newer coach, and I was just starting Facebook ads. I wasn't putting a ton of money into them because I didn't have a ton of money. I wasn't making a ton of money. Um, but that is how I grew my like page. And now what I do is I friend request anybody from my like page that likes my posts or comments on my posts or anything like that. I'm adding them over to my personal page and I send them a message and, and a friend request at the same time. And uh, I'll share it below because it's, I've been, I get a lot of response from it. And I, that's how I really build my cold market from my like page. And the last point that I wanted to add to you guys, I'm trying to keep this short. It's really hard to make short videos. Um, is free groups. If you're not doing free groups, then you really need to be doing free groups because you can find people. Well, especially if you make your post public, you can find people that will, if people are commenting, their friends will see it and their friends will see it. And then they, you might get people in your group that you don't know. You can also run Facebook ads to promote your free challenge. Um, and so when you get people in your free challenge, that's a way for them to trust you, to build that trust. You're, they're seeing your personality. Maybe you go live in the group. Um, and, and at the end of the group, then you talk to them about what, you have to offer them next, right? So you know when you sign up for, I don't know, like Josh Coates or Shaleen Johnson or Sarah Dan or um, Amy Porterfield, like all of those people, you like sign up for their free webinars or their free things, and then you start getting all those emails to say like join this group or or like pay for this training. That's what a free group is doing for you. That's your free offer. That's your freemium. You are offering that to your to your people, and then you want to show them that they can join you then in your fitness accountability group. But it is going to cost them a little bit of money and a little bit of skin in the game. But you are giving them free value. And so that's what the free groups are all about. And that's really a, a way for you to have that freemium for your cold market. And for people that don't really know you yet, they're just kind of like, who's this girl or this guy? And like, you know, but it's free. So there's nothing really for them to lose, right? So those are my tips on how to find people to add to your network um, through friend requests and through groups and all of that fun stuff. So my action item for you today is to 
figure out which one that you want to use or if you want to do a combination of all of them and post below which one you decide to go with. And I really want to challenge you to think about a free group and set one up for next month. Maybe you do it like two weeks before your challenge group. And and I really, because I see a lot of people saying, oh, I need to do a free group, myself included. So I put it on my calendar this month. I'm doing it next week. It's going to be um, like five, uh, it's going to be like five days to being uh, like not going crazy as a mom or some, something along those lines. I haven't nailed down the name yet, but it's going to be about um, how to, how to like not be crazy in, in how do you, how do I stay sane? That's what it's going to be about. And so uh, basically I'm just covering any, the topics I'm covering in my group is like uh, what I do on a daily basis. So like personal development, uh, a day on nutrition, a day on fitness, a day on support. Okay. And so those are my days. And then um, so you're, I'm showing them exactly what I do. And then I'm like, okay, well, if you like all of these things, then maybe you should join my challenge group. Right. So just adding a lot of free value, going live in there every single day, um, and then sharing them things that I do. So like, I like to meditate. I use Headspace. I like to listen to personal development. This is what I read, or this is what I listen to. And so you're just giving them, giving, 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 giving. And then at the end, you're saying, okay, well, you know, this is a, a sneak peek into what I'm really going to give you, right? <clears throat> so decide what your free group is going to be about. And then also, I, w I really want to challenge you to 10x add into your network. So if you are adding, we like to say, add three to five people to your network. I think if you really want to see significant growth in your business, you need to be adding way more than that. So you need to be adding like 10 people to your network every single day on top of, you know, your invites. So I really challenge you to go above and beyond and add more. So those are my tips for you. And that is my challenge to you. Just go do and, and, as soon as you take action, you will see results. Okay, so have a great day, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Anna, peace out.